Quincy Monk, a White Oak High School graduate, former UNC player and NFL linebacker, died last night after a battle with cancer, but his legacy still lives on. WNCT's Jacqueline Matter spoke with admirers who say his positive outlook on life was what made him so special. Quincy Monk stood out both on the football field and at home as a family man. As an athlete with both a tremendous skill and heart, those who grew up with him say his morals never changed. I really have a lot of fond memories of, of growing up with you. Jones Angel, the Tar Heels' current play-by-play -play announcer for Carolina football and basketball, grew up with Quincy in Jacksonville. Yeah, I remember Quincy as a football player, certainly, and he was a great uh, all-around player for White Oak when he played there. While a standout for White Oak High School in the late 90s, after graduation, he played for UNC, where he was a key player. I focused in on the defensive side of the ball here at Carolina and was really one of the big uh, parts of a really good Carolina defense in 2001. After his time at Carolina, he spent two years with the Giants and later with the Texans. But his life changed when doctors diagnosed him with stomach cancer earlier this year at 36 years old. I mean, if it could happen to Quincy, it could happen to absolutely anybody. You know, this is a guy who was in terrific physical condition. Angel says despite Monk's size standing at 6'3 and 250 pounds, he was always one of the kind ones. To be such an imposing person, he was such a kind person and had a good heart. Monk died Tuesday due to an infection he suffered following surgery to put stints in his blood vessels that were collapsing after chemo. But Angel hopes those who didn't know his childhood friend will remember the type of man Monk always tried to be. First and foremost, he was a first class person. And that's what mattered number one about Quincy is the way he treated other people, how kind he was, uh, the quality of person, the quality of family man, that that was the important part, the number one uh, important part about Quincy Monk. He leaves behind his family of two young children, Naomi and Aiden, and his wife, Lisa. In Jacksonville, Jacqueline Matter, nine on your side. Now, coaches from across the country who met Monk during his time in high school, college, and the NFL have tweeted condolences to Monk's family. Folks at White Oak High School held a moment of silence at their basketball game Tuesday night to honor Monk.